Hey and welcome to the Daily Man United News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Eric Ten Hag pushing hard to get Marcus Rashford to commit his future to Manchester United. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag is pushing hard to get Marcus Rashford to commit his future to the Red Devils, according to transfer guru Fabrizio Romano on Twitter. The Dutch manager wants the 25-year-old to stay at the Old Trafford side as He considers the forward a big part of the club's future project. Ten Hag is a huge admirer of the England international and wants him to stay at all costs. Rashford's current United contract was set to expire at the end of the season. However, the club triggered the one-year extension clause in his deal, but a new meeting will take place soon to offer the forward a long-term contract. The 25-year-old came up through the youth ranks, at the Old Trafford side and had a breakthrough season in the 16-17 campaign. Subsequently, the forward's influence in the first team grew. His most prolific Premier League season came in the 19-20 campaign. The England international scored 17 goals and provided 9 assists in 31 league appearances. However, Rashford struggled to make an impact last term. After heartbreak in the Euro 2020 final with the three Lions, the 25-year-old seemed to have lost his confidence. The forward lost his place in the team and was unable to make a mark when given opportunities. Thankfully, Ten Hag's arrival has changed that. The United Academy graduate seems to have found his feet under the Dutch manager. Rashford is the Red Devils' leading goal scorer this season in all competitions. The gaffer has deployed him in the number 9 position on several occasions. The forward scored a brilliant goal after a solo run against Burley in the Carabao Cup recently. The England international has warranted a new deal at the club with his performances. Hopefully, we are able to keep a hold of our academy graduate for years to come. Eric Ten Hag confesses unlikely that Jadon Sancho will feature for Manchester United versus Nottingham Forest. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has confessed that it's unlikely that Jadon Sancho will feature for the Red Devils against Nottingham Forest. We will take on the tricky trees on 27 December at home in the Premier League. The 22-year-old is currently in the Netherlands on an individual training program and will continue with it. He last made an appearance for the Old Trafford side in our 1-1 draw against Chelsea in the league. Speaking via Chris Willer of the Daily Mail, Ten Hag admitted that the England international would be absent for United first English top flight game back after the 2022 World Cup. Sancho signed for the Red Devils in the summer of 2021 from Borussia Dortmund. However, the youngster has been unable to make a considerable impact in Manchester. Moving to BVB from Manchester City, the 22-year-old developed into one of the best attackers in Germany. However, he has failed to replicate that form at the Old Trafford side. With the arrival of a new manager from Ajax, Sancho seemed to have found his feet once again. The forward scored some crucial goals and put in impressive performances at the start of the season. In his recent appearances, the 22-year-old has seemingly lacked confidence. Other young wingers like Anthony Ilanga and Alejandro Garnacho have brought energy to the team. Summer 2022 signing Anthony has also made the right-hand side of attack his own. Therefore, while it's good to have competition in the team, Sancho will evidently have a tough time breaking in once he's back. Hopefully, the 22-year-old is able to get in the right shape and be his best self upon returning to Manchester. Ex-England star and TV pounded makes bold Aaron Wan-Bissaka transfer claim. Former England and Aston Villa attacker Gabriel Agbonlahor has claimed that Manchester United's Aaron Wan-Bissaka is open to a permanent move to West Ham United. Eric Ten Hag made it clear in the summer that the Englishman is not in his plans and has limited the defender to just four minutes in the Premier League this season. Some Premier League clubs have expressed interest in taking Wan-Bissaka on loan in January. Crystal Palace are interested party in the services of the 25-year-old Palace manager Patrick Vieira relied his admiration for Juan Bissaka and said that Eagles fans still love the player. Wolverhampton Wanderers are also keen on Juan Bissaka with the new boss 
Julia Lopetegui, in search of defensive reinforcement to kickstart his reign at the Molino. West Ham have widely been reported to be in the race for the United outcast, Agbon Lahore told Football Insider the following. With Juan Bissaka, everyone knows what sort of defender he is, so what sort of defender do West Ham want? Do they want a defender who is no nonsense and nobody beats? Do they want a defender with the quality who can get balls into Skamaka and the attacking players? That's what you have got to decide when you are looking at Juan Bissaka, and that's what West Ham have got to decide. The TV Pounded added, I am sure that he will be looking at more of a permanent move because he just hasn't had a sniff at Man United. Ten Hag spoke about Juan Bissaka after United win against Burley in the Carabao Cup. The United manager said that Juan Bissaka has a future but has been rendered unfortunate by physical setback and illnesses. For United to get the right back Ten Hag wants and one that suits his style of play, it's likely that an exit for Juan Bissaka must first be facilitated. Fabrizio Romano drops Manchester United Denzel Dumfries claim. Fabrizio Romano has poured cold water on top of Denzel Dumfries joining Manchester United in the January transfer window. According to recent reports from the likes of Gazzetta dello Sport, the 26-year-old Inter Milan right back is a key transfer target for Manchester United boss Eric Ten Hag this winter. Right back is clearly an area where Ten Hag wants to strengthen at Old Trafford with concerns as to whether Aaron Juan Bissaka is actually good enough. Fabrizio Romano dropped Manchester United Denzel Dumfries' claim. The Italian journalist has been speaking to Give Me Sport about the future of the Inter Ace and whether he will be heading to Old Trafford in the January window. He said the following, I don't see them honestly investing crazy money on that position, so when I see links to Denzel Dumfries, it's true that they are pursuing the player, but I think it's going to be really difficult for them to sign Dumfries in January, especially having a budget limited because of the Glazer situation and also because they need a striker, so I don't see the Dumfries deal available for Man United in January. The Dutchman is a top-class right-back, and we think he'd be an excellent addition to Ten Hag's ranks at Old Trafford. The Inter Milan star produced the goods on the world stage for Holland out in Qatar, this winter. His performances for his country undoubtedly would have driven up his price. He's allegedly valued at around 60 million euros by Inter Milan. The Dutchman is a top class right back and we think he'd be an excellent addition to Ten Hag's ranks at Old Trafford. Dumfries has plenty of experience despite his fairly tender years and he is a real competitor. He has exactly the kind of character that Manchester United need and have lacked over the past few years. The 26-year-old would take United to another level entirely, in my opinion. Man United enter talks with PSV Eindhoven to sign Cody Gagbo in January. Manchester United have made contact with PSV Eindhoven to sign Cody Gagbo in January, according to the Mirror. The Red Devils were regularly linked with the Netherlands International in the last transfer window, but had to cool their interest after the big money purchase of Anthony from Ajax. It's now reported that the club are planning a January approach. They have initiated contact with the Dutch outfit this week, and could sign the 23-year-old for less than £50 million. PSV are going through financial difficulties at the moment, and Gagbo is prepared to leave next month to help his side. Personal terms should be a formality if the transfer fee is agreed. Real Madrid, Arsenal and Newcastle United are also interested in Gagbo. But United seem to have the upper hand after opening negotiations with PSV over a winter transfer. The Dutchman is currently one of the most informed players in Europe. He has registered 13 goals and provided 17 assists from just 24 appearances for PSV this campaign. The forward was also superb for his national team at the World Cup with three goals. He looks set for a bigger challenge and has already hinted that he would like to join United. Gagbo could have signed for the Red Devils last summer if not for Ajax's hefty demands for Anthony, with the club back in the hunt for him, he is unlikely to turn them down for another rival. There is another advantage for United with Eric Ten Hag's close relationship with Gagbo and his family. This could also play a big role in luring him to Old Trafford next month. Liverpool to face a strong fight from Manchester United for Benfica and Argentina star Enzo Fernandez. 
Manchester United have entered the race to sign Benfica star and the 2022 World Cup winner with Argentina and Fernandez, according to Brazilian outlet UOL Sport. Premier League rivals Liverpool are also interested in the 21-year-old. The Merseysiders are currently the frontrunners in the pursuit of the midfielder's signature. However, they will now face a strong fight for him. Jurgen Klopp's team have struggled with injuries in the current campaign. Their engine room is aging with the likes of Thiago Alcantara, Jordan Henderson and James Milner in their 30s. They have also been struck with injuries to the likes of Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain and Nabi Keita. As for the Old Trafford side, we lost the likes of Paul Pogba and Nemanja Matic in the recent transfer window. The club then bolstered the midfield with the addition of Christian Eriksen and Casimiro. The Danish and the Brazilian internationals have become pivotal players for Eric Ten Hag in their short time at the club. The two 30-year-olds have made an immediate impact in Manchester. However, the Dutch manager's other options in the middle of the park include Fred, Scott McTominay and Donny van de Beek. The trio of midfielders have been unable to convince fans of their qualities over the years. Fernandez signed for Benfica in the recent transfer window from River Plate. The 21-year-old has been a key player for the Eagles. Roger Schmidt team are unbeaten in the current campaign in all competitions. The midfielder was also essential for Lionel Scaloni's team in Qatar. Argentina went on to lift the World Cup title after a 36 year. The Benfica star won the Young Player of the Tournament award. United could seemingly do with more strength and depth in the squad. However, it remains to be seen whether we will be able to get a hold of Fernandez's signature in the future. Eric Ten Hag has chosen Benfica forward Gonzalo Ramos as his number one target at Manchester. Manchester United manager Eric Ten Hag has chosen Gonzalo Ramos as his number one target at the club ahead of the upcoming transfer window, according to Calcio Mercato. Cristiano Ronaldo recently departed the Old Trafford side. The 37-year-old's untimely exit has led to the club looking to recruit a striker in January. As a result, a number of high-profile players have been linked with the Red Devils. However, the 21-year-old's current contract with the Eagles runs until the summer of 2026. The Primera Liga outfit have no intention of parting ways with the striker for less than his 120 million euros release clause. Ramos came up through the youth ranks at Benfica. He broke into the Portuguese side's first team in the previous campaign. However, the forward has taken the mantle at the Primera Liga outfit this season. Roger Schmidt team sold Darwin Nunes to Liverpool in the recent transfer window. As a result, the 21-year-old has taken center stage in the Eagles' starting lineup. He has scored 15 goals in 22 appearances in all competitions for Benfica in the current campaign. Ramos also shone for Portugal at the 2022 World Cup. The 21-year-old scored a hat-trick in the round of 16 for Fernando Santos' team against Switzerland and Qatar. The youngster replaced Cristiano Ronaldo in the starting lineup of the Portugal team in the knockout stages, but they were unable to make it past Morocco in the quarter-finals. United recently parted twice with the five-time Ballon d'Or winner. The 37-year-old's exit has dwindled Eric Ten Hag's option in the attack with Anthony Martial, the only natural striker available at the moment. Thus, the Red Devils seemingly need to bolster their front line. However, will the Old Trafford side replace Ronaldo with Ramos in the upcoming transfer windows? Only time will tell. Manchester United are obsessed with signing Frankie de Jong. Manchester United are obsessed with signing no transferable Frankie de Jong from Barcelona in the summer of 2023. That's according to Spanish publication Sports, who claim that the powers that be at United believe that Barca are trying to drive up the 25-year-old's price by saying they don't want to sell him. Despite that, Man United boss Eric Ten Hag is still the separate to bring his countryman to Old Trafford next year. Ten Hag signed Casimiro last summer from Real Madrid after missing out on De Jong. However, the Brazilian will be 31 soon, so the addition of another quality player in the mold of the Brazilian will be an absolute must for United. And it seems as though Ten Hag's mind is made up as to who he wants. While the reports coming out of Spain suggesting that Ten Hag will go all out to bring the Netherlands international to Old Trafford, it seems as though we soon may well see the Barcelona midfielder in a United shirt. 
and what a great signing he would be for the Red Devils. De Jong has all the attributes needed to succeed in the Premier League and he would be the perfect signing for Man United. He could have a truly massive impact on United's fortunes. He is that good. He backed three goals and three assists in 32 La Liga games for Barca last season. During those appearances, the Dutchman made 51.2 passes on average per game and recorded a mightily impressive completion rate of 91.3%. The Dutchman is highly energetic, calm and composed when in possession, and a brilliant passer of the ball. He has the quality needed to dictate the tempo of the game and would add so much to the United squad. De Jong has been labeled as a special player by UEFA's official website. He would undoubtedly be a significant upgrade on Scott McTominay and Fred at Old Trafford. The ex-Ajax ace has remarkable pace. He's known for many brilliant attributes, but his blistering speed often goes under the radar. He'd be well worth the £55 million that Barca reportedly want for him. United aren't far away from a challenging for major honors again. The signing of a powerhouse center forward is an absolute must. However, Ten Hag cannot afford to ignore the need for reinforcement in central midfield. Man United have entered final talks with Jorge Mendes for Joao Felix. Manchester United have entered final talks to sign Atletico Madrid star Joao Felix this winter, according to French publication Le Ten Sport. The Red Devils are aiming to bolster their attack next month and manager Eric Ten Hag has confirmed that the club are eyeing a new striker. PSV Eindhoven's Cody Gagbo has been heavily linked with the club, but there has also been speculation that United could pursue Felix on loan. It's now reported that Felix is expected to leave Atletico during the upcoming transfer window and the Premier League is his likely destination. Furthermore, United and Arsenal are leading the race to sign him and negotiations are now in the final stretch with his agent Jorge Mendes. Paris Saint-Germain are not in contention to land the former Benfica youngster. United are reported to have entered talks with PSV over the transfer of Gagbo. The Dutchman could be available for less than £50 million next month. It's a no-brainer for the Red Devils to sign him, considering his exceptional form this season. He has a stunning 30 goals contribution for PSV thus far. Despite this, United should also be tempted to pursue the services of Felix ahead of Arsenal, considering the prospect of signing him on loan for £8 million. The Red Devils have been long-term admirers of the Portuguese and made an ambitious £115 million bid to land him last summer before purchasing Anthony. Felix was indispensable to Atletico at the point of time, but the scenario has now changed, with the Portuguese falling out with manager Diego Simeone. Atletico are eyeing £88 million for a permanent sale. In our view, United should seriously consider an £8 million loan move for Felix, with an option to buy for £80 million. I will be uploading daily Man United news show, so keep your eyes on the channel, and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.